to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating the hair shape. Now, the first thing we want to do is to convert this shape into a symbol. So, to do that, we are going to right click, go to convert to symbol, and let's call this head shape. Click OK. Now, once this becomes a symbol, we are going to double click to enter that symbol. Now, if you notice here, it says head shape. We are no longer in scene one. We are on the inside of the timeline for, for the head shape. Now, what we want to do is to create a, a new layer. Let's call this hair shape. Hair shape, right? Now we want to extract the hair shape from this, right? Now to do that, we want to use our line tool and we want to get a little bit closer, right? So you can start by doing this in a very angular fashion at first because we're able to curve our lines. So I'm going ahead and I'm just quickly outlining that general hair shape right now finally what we want to do here is to curve these lines and of course you are quite familiar with how to do that so just go to the center of the line with the selection tool and drag the line to the area where you want it. Now, once we are done with this process, you'll notice that we are able to select the ear shape. Um, now, once we have the ear shape selected, we want to right click and we want to cut it. Go to the ear shape layer, click on it, we want to right click once more and go paste in place so the hair shape is where it should be now we can lock this layer and finally double click this line and delete that line right now on the hair shape layer you're now able to change this color to whatever you want it to be so i think most people the hair is black I'm just going to make it black for now now of course the opacity is still down on this right so you can go and turn your opacity up to 100% right click in here I'm going over to alpha oops I'm using the eyedropper tool that's not very good so there I have my hair shape sep separated from the head shape of course you can go here also and um, rename this layer face shape if you want to or you could leave it as is now on the inside of the head shape this is where you can come and make adjustments so if you want to add details and whatever you can come back inside here and do that because this is a timeline so in adobe animate every object has its own timeline all right so that's it for this tutorial let's go back to scene one now in scene one you will notice that there's this blue box around the head right that's because this is a symbol now if you notice the opacity is still down on the shape of the face here because we're still building some of these parts so in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at how to build the eyes <coughs>